start a mission school, the most important historical landmark in Glenlawn? Did you know that Michael Jackson was almost kidnapped by a flying saucer? <laughs> now this is important. So is this. If the CIA had not stepped in, Michael might be on the moon. <laughs> oh, what did the doctor say about your broken finger? He said, use the other hand. See, I told you he was a good dog. I cannot believe the height of your egotism. He was not whistling at you. He was calling his dog. <laughs> Get in touch, Julie. He always whistles at me. Come on. The boy is my slave. How can you two be talking about boys, dogs, and slaves when they're going to tear down the Santa Marta Mission School? Slaves are tearing down the mission school? <laughs> The bulldozers are on the way now. The Historical Society said they won't be needing any more of us volunteers to give tours. Yeah, I heard about that at school. They're putting up a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> They're building it on the ruins of American history. I don't know what she's so mad about. You know, Glenlon could use a good Mexican restaurant. I have had it with sushi. <laughs> Darn it! It's not bad for a kid with one hand, huh? <laughs> You don't know why she's behaving that way. Children don't take after strangers. <laughs> and just what is that remark supposed to mean? Come on, that's exactly what you do when you get mad. I do not. I would never do anything so childish. <laughs> Samantha, cut it out! <laughs> that's all we ever do in this country tear down landmarks and put up buildings that are modern, plastic, and yucky. You know you're right, Samantha. The town bowling alley is built on an ancient Indian burial ground. You know, it's a good thing they didn't put up a disco. I mean, every time we dance, it would rain. <laughs> Katie, don't develop a sense of humor. You know, we've written to everybody, even Mr. O'Brien, who's in charge of saving historical landmarks. Yeah? What did he say? He said he sympathized, but he couldn't save every historical landmark in California. And have a nice day. Honey, I know how you feel. When I was your age, we had the same problem in Alabama. We wrote a lot of letters, but it did us no good. What were you writing about? Well, there was this man that didn't want to serve black folks in the restaurant. So we had a sit-in. We linked arms, we sang songs until he served us. Great. And then we threw a picket line around the restaurant. <laughs> Why? Because the food was terrible. <laughs> it was a crime what that man did to turn up dreams. <laughs> Gee, wouldn't it be great if I could get the rest of the volunteer guides to have a sit-in? Well, sometimes to stand up for your rights, you have to sit down. Would you sit in with me now? Honey, my sit-in days are over. I'm all set out. <laughs> Julie? I'd love to, Samantha, but I've got Save the Whales this afternoon and my friend the otter tonight. <laughs> Katie, will you help to keep them from destroying Glenlawn's oldest and most important historical landmark? Oh, gosh, Sam, I'd really love to, but I've got to do my nails. <laughs> Nobody cares about anything! Boy, she has a terrible temper. Just like me. I like her. <laughs> you know, she really does care, but I don't know how she's gonna fight a bulldozer. Hey, now! Come on out look at my brand new bike! What happened to the old one the chief bought you? I traded it, even Steven, to Bobby Fuller for this one. And just how did you talk Bobby into doing that? Well, I told him I was an official police bike, and I wouldn't trade her for a million dollars. <laughs> And he fell for that. I got the bike, and here's his IOU for the million dollars. and non-stop football. <laughs> what more could you ask for? My half hour of the Smurfs. <laughs> you sit there and save your energy for your football. Six hours of screaming, you dummy! <laughs> Did you get a report? 
report about a UFO landing in Glen Lawn? <laughs> you dummy! Yeah, Chief. Chief, we just got a call. There's a whole bunch of protesters over at the Santa Marta Mission School. The bulldozer crew is getting mad. I think there's going to be trouble. Mission School, Holy Toledo? <laughs> Why do people always have to riot on a weekend? Well, they're working during the week, Chief. <laughs> I brought all the riot gear. Good. I even brought... Your bullhorn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chief. It's just I never get to use it. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride, huh? What was that? Katie, Julie, get down here. Get down to the mission school. No. Nope. Stay away from there now. Them protesters are crazy. They're all screaming, sit down and stand up for your rights. Sit down, stand up. No, is that what you told me? Shut up, Blondie. Me? That's right. You and the kids stay away from that mob scene. Daddy, wait. Uh, Chief, one of those protesters might be Samantha. Samantha who? <laughs> your daughter. Samantha? Now, look, I'll go ahead and I'll get her out of there. You take your time getting there, right? Good idea. Come on, girls. Uh, Simpson, we're gonna be late uh, because we had a little trouble starting the car. No, we won't, Chief. <laughs> I just had it tuned. <laughs> I'm warning you, kids. I called the cops, and you better get out of here. Mr. Gonzalez, shame on you. This place is a symbol of the Mexican contribution to our culture, and you, Mr. Gonzalez, want to destroy it. Don't you have any pride in your heritage? Yes, but I'm not a fanatic about it. <laughs> now, look, why don't you just all go home, and then when I open the restaurant, it's enchiladas for everybody, yeah? You can't buy us with enchiladas, burritos, or refried beans. <laughs> Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera. Yo soy un hombre sincero, y desde que crece la palpa, la, 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 la. How can you sing Guantanamera and still tear down this building? When the bulldozer knocks down these walls, I'll be singing Adios, muchachos. He's not gonna see you. You gotta get out of here. No. Listen, kids, you made your point. You had to say, please, just go home. No. Samantha, what are you gonna do? Throw yourself in front of a bulldozer? Yes. Please, I just ironed that outfit. <laughs> Speaking of outfits, you look terrific. Yeah. Okay, okay, now here's my construction chief, Moose Murphy, and I just told him to drive his bulldozer right through all of you. Why don't I just throw them all out, Gonzalez? Hold it. <laughs> you touch one hair on the head of these kids, it's gonna be open season for Moose. <laughs> now you get your ugliness out of my face. <laughs> You got a problem, Gonzalez. <laughs> Samantha, let's go house and eat. What? The man, what? the boss, what? the police. That's just my father. That's worse. I promised him I would get you out of here. Now I thought you were going to get her out of here. I mentioned it to her. <laughs> we're not leaving, Daddy. These people are trespassing. Arrest them, Daddy. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Gonzalez. I demand that you arrest them. I'll sign the complaint. All right, kids, this is an illegal entry. Anyone not off these premises in 30 seconds will be arrested. 1,001, 1,006. <laughs> Samantha, go home. This is something I believe in. It's a matter of principle. Now, take her home. She won't go. And I can't leave my baby here. It's 1,015. Will you shut up? <laughs> we got a job to do here. My place is with my sister. She's my sister, too. You know, in that outfit, you look just like Eric Estrada. 
Disgusting. <laughs> Don't knock it till you tried it, honey. <laughs> my God, it's my whole family. What an ironic twist of fate. <laughs> You're the chief of police. Arrest them. It's my family. Arrest them. I'm begging you, kids. Please go home. Don't make me arrest my own family. Daddy, you can't arrest your own children. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> you give up the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to the attorney and have the attorney present. You desire to have the court of law attorney with the attorney. Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> Very funny. The occupation. Unemployed housekeeper. I just quit <laughs> my last job. Too bad. You're not going to get a recommendation from your last employer. Chief, why don't you just throw me in the cell? Better still, I throw myself in. Hold it. Nell, you know I hate doing this. Samantha, what did you have to start this trouble for? We had a sit-in. Sometimes you have to sit down and stand up for your rights. Where did you hear that garbage? <laughs> it's not garbage. Nell told her that. <laughs> All right, everybody, into the cell. Oh, come on, relax. We'll get to know each other. Come out of there. I'm not going to have you kids cooped up in a dirty jail cell. Whoa, but it's okay for old black folks like me, huh? No, nobody knows. The trouble I see. That's not what I meant. No. I knew. I saw who. Now, please, be still. Nobody. Please! The trouble. Look, I don't want to keep you kids here in a police station, but I can't let you go home until I get a release from Judge Whitmore. And he's out somewhere playing golf. Why don't you get your putter and join him? No, I have to go by the law. That's my job, to uphold the law. You care more about your job than you do about your own family. That's not true, Samantha. Look, most of you kids will be released in the custody of your parents as soon as they get here. Samantha, go home. I'm not leaving them. I'm your father, Samantha. Ha! I laugh in your general direction. <laughs> Carl, just what do you think? Oh, thank God you're here. I need your help. What do you want me to do, hose them down? <laughs> Go home, Pop. I've heard about the whole disgusting event. It's all over the town. So why don't you put your poor old father in jail? <laughs> you haven't committed a crime, Pop. Oh, yes, I have. I fathered you. <laughs> Joey! <coughs> Come out of there. I'm not going to have a seven-year-old kid in a jail cell. Grandpa goes, I go. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me, you kids. Chief, till the judge calls, why don't you get your mind off of all this, huh? Here, watch the football game. Now, for an update on the news. Today, the Kremlin accused the United States of flirting with global war. In other news, the small California town of Glenlawn was rocked today when the chief of police, Carl Konipsky, arrested his entire family. <laughs> of him, the hick chief, the meanest cop in the West. Chief, 
you're famous. That hurt. Big Chief. I'm only doing what City Hall expects me to do. I'll get that. <laughs> Officer Simpson. Uh, yeah, Your Honor. It's the mayor. Hello? Yes, I saw the news. No, they didn't call Glen Lawn a hick town. They called me a hick chief. No, sir, it's not the same thing. Your Honor, what you're <laughs> suggesting is illegal. I'm doing my job here, and I'm not buckling under to any political pressure from you or anybody else. Fine. Yes, sir, fine. Release him. What did he say? He said, if that's your attitude, Kaniski, let me talk to Chief Simpson. <laughs> the mayor says you could all go home now. Come on. <laughs> now, Kate, Julie, Pop, Joey, at least you talk to me. Hick. Samantha, try to understand. I mean, if I didn't enforce the law, I wouldn't be much of a cop. Well, you're not being much of a father. Chief, shut up. some checkers? No. Hey, Sam, want to play some tag? No. Hey, now. Honey, just go outside and play, all right? Okay. Boy, you guys are more fun in jail. <laughs> well, how is everybody? That's nice to hear. <laughs> Any coffee now? On the stove. Ah, uh, what's the use? You know, your father doesn't understand what your kids were standing for. <clears throat> he'll never change. I guess you can say he'll always be his own worst enemy. Not while I'm alive. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we better lighten up on the chief. After all, he's forgiven us for a lot of things we've done to him in the past. I've never done anything. I have a clear conscience. You mean transparent. <laughs> Your nail polish is clear. <laughs> yes. Hello. I'm Mr. Fuller. Good. Could you come back another time and thank you? He belongs to us. Not till I get my kid's bike back. The one that little criminal stole. I didn't steal it. We traded. Shut up, you little crook. Hey, hey, hey. Who are you calling a crook? That kid. He's a crook. I shouldn't be surprised after what I saw on TV today. The whole family's nuts. Nothing but a bunch of wild-eyed radicals. You're a disgrace to Glenlawn. <laughs> this is my badge. This is what makes me chief of police. Now I am no longer chief of police. I am a father. Now who the hell do you think you are coming in here calling that kid a crook and my family nuts, you creep? No, wait a minute. You wait a minute. My little Samantha did something today because she believed in it. And the rest of our family backed her up because they loved her. Right or wrong, they had the guts to sit down and stand up for their rights. One column there, why you? No, 
you're as nuts as they are. Take your kid fight and get out of here, or I'll have you arrested for trespassing. You can't remember I arrested my whole family for the same thing. Good point. <laughs> And I thought you didn't understand. You were just doing your job, Daddy. I'm sorry for all the rotten things we said to you. Dad, I didn't say anything. <laughs> My conscience is transparent. <laughs> Carl, I'm almost proud to be your father. <laughs> I'm really sorry I called you a hick. Forget it, Joey. But it was really dumb to give back my new bike. <laughs> Why don't I take the whole family out to dinner? I'll get that. Hey, Chief, there's a car blocking your driveway. Yeah, of course there is. It's my car. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's still illegal to block the driveway. Somebody could give you a ticket. <laughs> Not me, of course. <laughs> Good night, Chief. No, wait, wait, Chief. Give me that book. We go by the law in this house. Give it here. You have the right to remain silent. I have always wanted to do this. this <laughs> if you give the right to remain silent, anything you say can. school and they're not going to tear it down. Oh, that's great. But why not? Mr. Gonzalez said he got so much publicity, he's going to leave the school like it is and build his restaurant around it. Oh, it's oh, terrific. I wish he had been open tonight. Your father promised to take us out to dinner. But he's the only one that went out and brought us back this slop. <laughs> you know what else Mr. Gonzalez said? Next summer, all of us tour guides can wait on tables. Oh, oh Sam, is that good looking guy going to be working there? The one that looks like Eric Estrada? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? He said he never thought he'd find a girl he wanted to date in jail. Did you hear that, Julie? He's taking me to a movie tomorrow. 